So to change the oil and filter on the Kawasaki Ninja 250SL, the first thing you want to do is start the motorcycle and leave it running for a few minutes. By doing this, it allows the oil to heat up and when it comes to draining the oil, the oil will flow out a lot easier once it's hot. Now, you probably see I have already removed the side fairing and the lower fairing on the motorcycle on the right hand side and that allows me to gain access to the uh, oil filter. So it's going to be the same on the Kawasaki Ninja 250SL and on the Z250. If you try to drain the oil when the engine is cold, what's going to happen is that the oil is going to be very sticky and a lot of the oil is going to remain in the engine. So now that the engine is good and hot, just be careful when you go to remove the um, oil plug at the bottom of the engine because the exhaust and the engine could be very hot and you can burn yourself. So I'm just put a, an oil pan underneath the, um, the drain plug. As I remove the drain plug I just keep upward pressure on the drain plug and that means that it it doesn't start draining oil all over your hand and then once you can feel that the bolt is finally fully loose or unscrewed you can just remove that pressure pull the pull the bolt away from the engine casing really quickly and it just avoids you getting covered in oil. So we're going to leave that to drain for a few minutes. I didn't do it here in this video but it can help if you um, unscrew the oil filler cap which is just on top of the uh, clutch, clutch housing casing. So here I am just taking the oil drain bolt and I am replacing the uh, crush washer. So you can use a you can use a um, aluminium crush washer, and that just ensures that you have a good oil seal when you put the um, drain bolt back in. So I've finished draining the oil from the engine. What I'm going to do now is remove the cover from the oil filter. So I just put a little bit of paper just underneath the oil filter. It's held on, the, the oil filter cover is held on with two little bolts. So I just remove the two bolts. They're not going to be tight. And just be careful here because the the oil filter is going to be under a little bit of pressure from a spring and oil is going to just pump out as soon as you move as soon as you remove it so there's going to be probably about a 100 ml of oil in the actual oil filter housing so let that drain out You'll see that the oil filter is stuck onto the end of the oil filter cover. So the oil filter cover is made from metal. Now there's also a little spring in at the back which you want to recover. Just be careful that could pop out and fall into the fall into the 
fall into the oil and you could lose it and forget to put it back in but there is a little spring which goes in at the back so clean out the oil filter housing good and well check that there's no bits of dirt take the new filter ideally you should fit it onto the um, oil filter cover and just be cognizant of the fact that there is um, two channels two oil flow channels in the actual filter or in the filter cover now the problem here is that the little spring um, it doesn't it has to go in at the back behind the filter in the sit but it doesn't really sit into the housing properly and it doesn't sit into the spring properly so what I've, what I've discovered is you kind of have to use a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of super glue, just enough to, to stick the spring to the back of the oil filter. Let it dry before you actually stick the filter back in. Really, you should stick the filter onto the cover before you put it back in. But in this case, I just put the filter in and then put the cover back in on top of it. Make sure that the channels in the oil filter cover match up with the channels in the filter housing. And once the spring filter and cover are all inserted properly, you can just put the bolts back on. Now these bolts, you don't need to have them too tight. They're probably less than 10 newton meters to secure on the cover. When you are putting on the cover on the oil filter, just beware that there is a little oil seal, a little black rubber oil seal um, that fits around the cover and you need to check that for damage otherwise you could have um, uh, oil leaking out through your oil filter because oil will be pumped through that filter now and then through the rest of the engine so I used a high flow oil filter in this case I also ordered a new oil seal for the um, oil filter cover so now I'm just cleaning at the bottom of the sump of the engine and I'm taking my drain bolt and I'm putting it, reinserting it. All the oil has drained out of the engine. And I'm just gonna torque on the, I'm gonna torque on the, um, the uh, oil drain bolt to sp specific torque. You don't wanna go too tight because if you do, you're going to strip the treads out of the sump of the engine. And if it's too loose, then you're not going to crush the washer and you're not going to have a good oil seal. And over time, the oil could potentially drain out of your engine. So you need to get that, that drain bolt torqued on correctly and use the right crush washer. I used a new crush washer and got rid of the old one. So now I'm going to rem I'm just removing the the oil filler cap, which just above the clutch housing, or just above the clutch cover. So that has a little oil seal on it as well. So just be careful that you don't lose the little oil seal on the filler cap. I'm opening up my oil. I'm using 10W40 fully synthetic oil. That is what is recommended by Kawasaki for this particular model of motorcycle. Now the oil from the can or from the from the jug is it's going to be cold and it's going to be quite thick. So it takes a while to fill in. The Kawasaki Ninja 250 and the Z250 SL, they both take um, 
one liter of oil in the engine or 1.1 liter of oil if you replace the oil filter so you're better off measuring out the amount of oil beforehand and that means that you won't overfill the engine now i'm putting the um, motorbike up on stands paddock stands and that's just to make sure that it's nice and level and that way when i'm pouring in the oil i can keep an eye on the oil level through the sight glass on the right hand side of the engine and make sure that i am i don't overfill the engine with oil so although i know to fill in about one liter of oil you really want to keep an eye on the sight glass pour in the oil bit by bit and that means that you don't fill in too much oil and also that you don't fill in too little on the sight glass there will be little markings for the minimum amount of oil and the maximum amount of oil as you pour it in you want to leave it a minute for the oil to drain into the engine at least before you check the sight glass because it does take a while for it to drain down I would fill it up close to the maximum uh, oil level so once all the oil or once the engine is refilled now with oil I'm putting the oil filler cap back on I'm checking that it's nice and clean I'm checking that the seal the little rubber black rubber oil seal is on the end of the filler cap and that should really be it that is the Kawasaki Ninja 250 SL with a new oil filter and fresh oil keep